What's up, what's up, everybody? Smackdown, folks. Smackdown tonight. Madison Square Garden, New York City. A big show tonight for Smackdown. Obviously, the fallout from Money in the Bank last Saturday. Uh, a lot going on in this show tonight, from the trial of the Tribal Chief to the return of Edge. Um, a lot going on in this show. Basically, a lot of things banking in, going in for uh, SummerSlam later on. But what do we got to say about SmackDown tonight? I got to say, this is a very good episode of SmackDown. A very well-booked SmackDown. I enjoyed this episode, and they had to go in big with Madison Square Garden. So, we kicked it off with the uh, Usos uh, kicking off the show. Big pop for them. Basically saying, you know, y'all want to say Roman Reigns is unbeatable, but it was proved in Money in the Bank. He is not unbeatable. And they, t they gloated until, you know, Heyman and Solo came out. Basically, uh, Heyman talked about he is the defense and talked about the Exhibit 1 uh, for uh, Roman Reigns. Usos told him to shut up, and Heyman said, there's only one person that's ever going to stop me talking. Uh, Solo took the mic from his hand and threw it out the ring. Heyman looked shocked. Um, they looked like they were about to fight, but Roman came out. Roman, um, was in the ring then. Uh, he told the crowd to acknowledge him, but the fans started to chant, you got pinned. And, um, he was getting pissed off. And, uh, last time I checked, he's still the tribal chief. Because he said that the Usos are not the tribal chief. Yet. But, um, he says, I, this is, you know, this, this whole tribal court thing has been demanded. And, who has the authority, like, really, who is in charge of this whole trial anyways, and basically look at the Usos then, uh, basically they had the video package, basically showing how, um, the Usos have been manipulated and abused, and, you know, Roman just bullying the damn, um, bloodline, uh, for the past few years, especially the Usos making them look bad, but Raymond, but Roman basically went on to, um, say, you know, that I ain't do that, that's not who I am, okay, Listen, man, um, listen, man, I had to force myself to do this. I had to lower myself. I didn't need to do all this, okay? And it was hard to hear him throughout half the time because obviously the crowd was chanting something. I think it really gets annoying because we don't know what the crowd's actually. They're chanting something, but they got to keep blocking, censoring out the word, words. But he says, I don't need the bloodline. The bloodline need me, okay? I've made a event at WrestleMania before all of this, all right? Y'all showing me my worst moments. Like, I'm doing, like, putting, like, bending my moral compass for y'all. This group, the family, elders, all this stuff. So everybody can get rewarded around here. And um, Roman basically went on to say, um, I didn't ask all this responsibility, okay? I got a kid in the back. You think that I want her looking at me uh, like this? I got five kids at home. I, I don't need to take care of y'all kids too. And um, basically, this division that the elders wanted. And I don't need to do this anymore, okay? I don't want to do this, all right? I'm, I'm done. You know, an umbrella service on the beach sounds real good right now. I could relax and everything. And Roman says, you know what? I'm done. Y'all want this tribal chief stuff? Take it. Here you go. And, you know, you end up putting the the tribal, the laid, whatever they call it, necklace over um, Jay. And Roman's on his, on his knees crying. And he even took off his undisputed title because i still think it's ridiculous that there's three title belts out there but that's why i had one friend try to explain it to me but I, he just got all the belts out there to make roman look big but um he took out the belt that i guess is now canon um you know just took it off and you know he kind of went near jay jay went near him obviously he got low blowed right there jimmy attacked him solo pulled him off and then uh Solo's looking at the damn necklace in which the fans have to chant, you know, put it on, which obviously is like a fatal four-way. This is basically Battle of the Crown, okay? This is the battle of the leader, the tribal chief. Obviously, all four of these guys look like they won it. It looked like this was setting up to be a damn fatal four-way out there. That's what it looked like to me. Like, are we setting up a fatal four-way match? Because that's definitely what it looked like. Because even, you know, Solo kind of won the power now. We've seen glimpses of that. And, um, you know, Jimmy J still coming back from behind. Um, you know, Solo and Roman got the upper hand then. You know, they tied Jay to the ropes. They started beating the hell out of Jimmy with the title belt and then putting him on the table. Um, Solo did the splash. Jay got out of it then and still went back after Roman and them. Um, and whatnot. Because, um, you know, officials couldn't stop it. And um, Jay just... Try to do what he could. Um, 
and stuff, but they left chairs on top of him then and stuff. Um, you know, he put the necklace back on after taking down Jay. So basically, the Usos got killed right here. Um, obviously, Roman had to get his heat back from uh, Money in the Bank, which I'm not surprised by that. By that, this was over 35 minutes. This took up 35 minutes of the show, which which was good, okay, which obviously this is the biggest story in WWE right now, I think I like this better than I did on Saturday in a way at Money in the Bank, because I already kind of told how, yes, this is a very good match, but it's like every other Roman match, when it goes 20 minutes of the match, ref bump, shenanigans, finish, and we everyone has counted that pattern before, but obviously the story continues, which now it looks like, um, we know obviously it's going to be, um, setting up Jay versus Roman at SummerSlam because it's not like we have any other opponents on this show to face him. So it's just all about the Bloodline story. But yes, it took 35 minutes and crowd loved it. So I think we all know where this is going to go. Uh, Jimmy was uh, put into an ambulance then, being pulled off. Sheamus went against Austin Mid Theory out there for the U.S. title. Theory is just literally... What what can I really say about Theory right now? Dude is just kind of there. Like, I even forget he's the U.S. champion. And, and listen, I swear we saw this match, like, what? Probably almost a month ago, really, with Sheamus and Austin Theory. And I swear it was, like, the same finish with Pretty Deadly coming out and, you know, the brawl and brute skin involved. And then roll-up finish. So, honestly, Austin Theory's felt very cold for a long, for a while now. He's just holding that title, which, as I said before, I forget the guy's even the U.S. champion. And I said this in the past. John Cena was right about everything he said about him months ago. Like, you know, hey, man, you don't win either way. Even if you do beat me, you still don't win. And, like, just, he's just there. Like, Austin Theory's just there right now. Like, it's not like he's really in anything important. So, I can't say I'm really not that surprised he lost would I even, you know, not, say, not that surprised he retained the title, but I wonder how long they're going to keep that going with him. Um, Grayson Waller was out there to do his show to introduce Edge. We haven't seen Edge since, like, what, damn near a month and a half ago for that world title tournament. Edge came out. Um, you know, crowds going nuts for him and stuff. Talking about his 25th an uh, anniversary of being in the WWE. And uh, talked about, you know, we can do it again in Toronto next month. And, um, you know, Waller said, uh, so you, you're coming here to retire, right? But Edge said, you know, listen, man, my first paper you was in SummerSlam 1998 when he teamed with Sable against Mark Merrill and Jacqueline. And he even talked about where, um, you know, where he came out in his entrance in New York and his, you know, debut pay-per-view. Um, Waller basically said, yeah, you're here to retire, right? But uh, Edge says, listen, you've only been here for a hiccup. I've been here for a long time. I'm not here to retire, right? But you powder your way into some deep waters for the quick time you've been here, right? So he talked to the powers that be in the back. I guess Vince and Triple H or whoever's booking this show. Um, basically, that tonight, I'm going to have a match with you. So, yeah. Uh, they're going to have a match later on. So, we're going to see Edge and Waller. Um, that's going to be something. AJ Styles went against Cross, which this was very fast. Uh, AJ got a big pop. Cross had a jobber entrance. And I guess his, his leg was taped up. I don't know if he had an injury in that, and this, this was a very quick match. AJ won. This was damn near a fucking squash match also. So, like, Cross got the job and entrance and um, squash. I don't know what to say about Cross right now. I don't know if he's legitimately injured in that. I haven't really cared about this feud with AJ. I'm not surprised AJ won. I don't know if he really is hurt or they're just doing this to, I guess, protect uh, Cross. But Cross is basically a jobber at this point. And listen, I vouch for Cross for it. I've had people that vouch for him too. But I fell off that train a long time ago with Cross. Cross is just there. He's just he's just there. That's kind of it. And I said it before, I felt like it was the same gimmick after a while. Like, pull a card. Who's your opponent? Who are you going to lose to? And I go back all the way back to the feud with Drew and how that match at Extreme Rules really was Extreme Rules wasn't really that good and the whole cage match thing and then you know the stuff with Ray and then even AJ beforehand like the only person kind of legitimately beat was what Mad Cat Moss and that's not saying much but Cross just I don't know ever since he came back to the WWE it has not worked. And I don't know if he is hurt or this was a way to write him off TV or it's not like I cared about this feud to begin with. But the, 
guy's just kind of jobbing right now. He's really got nothing going on for him. I'm sorry. He's just kind of, he's just there. Like, he's really just there. I don't really have much to say about Cross. So, I, I don't know. It's just not working. Some would say he's getting released soon. I, I don't know if that's true. But I wouldn't be surprised if he actually did get released right now. Because it's not working. Sorry, but I don't, I don't know what else you can really do with him. Or I don't, I don't know. The guy is just, he's just, he's just there. That's kind of it. That's all I really got to say about it. Um, Asuka was coming out to talk uh, until Bianca came out and attacked her. Then Charlotte came out and attacked her. And then EO and Bailey came out to attack Asuka, trying to cash in the money in the bank. But then Bianca and Charlotte get back involved. So, yeah, not the best foolproof plan for EO to cash in right now, but a, a cash in tea. So, um, obviously a wild brawl out here with all the women, uh, going after Asuka right now for the title. Edge went against Race and Waller. Um, a very good match with Waller. Um, very good. And even Edge had to say, like, you swam tonight. So um, I did enjoy this match with uh, Waller and um, Edge. I thought it was really good. Edge got the win after dodging that springboard um, stunner thing um, Waller does. Uh, you know, one thing from uh, I got to say with Waller, like, they, they see something in Waller in the back. They do believe in him. They see something more than him than they see something in theory right now. And I had a conversation with my friend Steven. Like, you see where theory is and you see where what they've had Waller been doing. Yeah, this is Waller's actually first in-ring debut because the guy's been hurt. Um, oh, well, I think his leg. Yeah, his leg's been messed up. And he hasn't really wrestled ever since he got to the main roster. Because I believe the last time he had a match was on NXT. Uh, like, you know, the last NXT match he had before getting moved up. Uh, but you've seen where they've had Waller. They've had him in segments with AJ Styles. They had him in segments with John Cena from last Saturday at Money in the Bank. And now they have him in a segment and a match against Edge. So they believe in him. They see something in him. So obviously they got some plans for Waller uh, coming soon. But they see something in him. I have to say that. Uh, Roman and Solo end up headed back to the ring. Um... And they said, let's try this again. Acknowledge me. The Usos music hit again. Jay is still in the building. Jay came from the crowd. Um, you know, Jay jumped on the solo. And then he went after Roman with a chair. He hit Roman with a chair and then. But Solo got in. Jay beat the... I swear, Jay was beating the hell out of Solo with that damn chair. He was swinging for the fences and stuff. And, you know, once he started beating the hell out of uh, Solo, he ended up grabbing the title then. Roman said, put it down, but Jay says, you know, you know, y'all, y'all taking Jimmy away from me. So now I'm looking like, see, right now I'm the judge, jury, and execution of this whole trial. And it's trial by combat now. I don't care about no brothers, no wise men. I'm going to take you down one-on-one -on because -one, they haven't done this in damn near, what, two, three years now since the last time these guys faced each other. And um, now you're going to accept my challenge so I can whoop your ass one more time. And uh, obviously, this is going to lead to Jay versus Roman at SummerSlam for the undisputed title or WWE title or whatever they were calling this damn title. But it's the WWE undisputed universe. Yeah, the undisputed title, okay? But it's obviously happening at SummerSlam. They didn't say it yet, but you know it's coming at SummerSlam, all right? So um, get ready for that. But, um,. Hell of a way to close this show. I guess I thought this was a very enjoyable SmackDown to watch. I thought it was a lot of uh, really good stuff here, especially post Money in the Bank. From the trial of Roman Reigns to, uh, yeah, Jimmy got took out, but Jay uh, ended up standing and still got the last laugh tonight if you want to go from there. Um, Edge returning. The match with Wallow was really good. Um, no, you know, what else? I even like the damn wild women segment brawl they had out there. Um, AJ and Cross was, just, I, don't, I don't know, AJ won. Sheamus in theory was okay, but like I said, theory's just mid right now. But I thought it was an overall good SmackDown. SmackDown was very good tonight. I enjoyed it. So, really good stuff from SmackDown tonight, uh, especially post Money in the Bank. But other than that, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Hooded Night 890. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. 
uh, like the um, like this video, hit that uh, subscribe button or notification bell. So probably said subscribe the first time, but hey, let's not say it again, okay? Because we gotta say it again. But yeah, hit that notification bell too. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm out of here. I will see y'all then. Peace out.